All right, we're here with uh, Darius Carter. Uh, once again, we get a chance to talk. Uh, good to see you again, good sir. Um, of course it is. And this of is po- <laughs> nice watch, by the way. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. This is this is post uh, WrestleMania weekend and post for the culture, uh, where you went against Billy Dixon, and uh, of course Darius Lockhart was a special guest referee. He had to raise your hand uh, at the end of that. Uh, but more important than that, a new match came out of this for Ashe Cosmo. So let's, to make sense of out of all this, let's first go back to Porter Culture. You and Billy have a long documented history. Uh, Billy feels as if you took his opportunity to wrestle at the second Ashe show uh, when you interrupted. But we've talked about that before on the first show. Um, but you had a chance to go against him again. Um, what was it? And I know that I saw the look on your face. I saw the smile on your face when the pictures came out. You were happy that Darius Lockhart had to raise your hand and that you beat Billy Dixon. Talk about just that weekend, that match, and what that meant for you in your career. I mean, to to me and, and for the culture, that should be seen as the single biggest victory for all of us. That should be seen for a major victory for all of us as a people, Okay. That was the main event. That was my first ever GCW main event. My first ever main event during WrestleMania week. But it's not just about us. Look at that card. Look who was on that card. Look who we saw at For the Coach. We saw Ruckus step back in the ring. Front to back. For the Culture 5 was the best For the Culture that GCW has ever produced. And in the main event was a feud that has been going on for four plus years. All right. We did it ourselves. It was Billy and I from promotion to promotion, state to state, up and down the coast. We built this ourselves, a grassroots rivalry. And we took that to GCW. It was so interesting. It had to be presented. Darius Lockhart being the special guest referee, playing a supposedly unbiased role. That was a beautiful, beautiful victory for us, and we should all be celebrating together. Darius did the right thing, had a little difficulties with him during the match, but in the end, he raised my hand. We got the picture. My goodness, my goodness. Why are we not all rejoicing? Why is why is Sonny Kiss challenging me? Why is my first See, this is here's the thing. This is what's offensive to me is why is my first opponent someone from within the culture? I, I didn't just do this for me. I did this for all of us. This is a major win for all of us so we can finally move forward. Get out of this quicksand that we've been in, pretending before, like we're moving forward as a people. We haven't been going anywhere. Before we talk about you and Sonny Kiss, when you say that this is a win for all of us, what do you mean? Why, why, why should everybody in the culture rejoice for for your win there are some people who are fans of billy some people who are fans of darius lockhart some people who are fans of you um does everybody have to like the same people well i mean how, you, you like the match we're talking about the match everyone was talking about the pomp and circumstance the glory of the match and this feud finally coming to an end the match itself was drawing this attention whoever the winner was is whoever the winner was how does how does a match lose a uh, uh, value or credibility because of who the winner is. I was this just I was, was asking a follow up question based off of what you said. You no, said but I'm asking college. you. But I'm asking okay. you a question. That's a reporter style question. It's like you're trying to dig and get a particular type of answer out of me. What I'm saying to you is the truth. That match was the main event, April 5th, GCW, Penn's Landing Caterers, a massive, massive main event for us, for us. Okay. Billy Dixon and Darius Carter in the main event of GCW, one on one, no stipulation. No, I mean a special guest referee, but it wasn't a hardcore match. It wasn't a, a death match. This was a one on one traditional singles match with Darius Lockhart, three black men, three of the yes. brightest shining black competitors on the yes. scene today. Why does it? Why is it any less? That I won. Why? Why? Why does that make a difference? No, it's it's not any less. Uh, and you you made a great point right there. It's two, three of the uh, greatest competitors right now that's out there. Doesn't matter which company. Doesn't matter uh, who you're signed to or whatever. You guys are three of the best pro wrestlers uh, that are out there right now. But there is uh, trouble uh, between you three. Uh, and then after the the event was over, after the match was over, 
Uh, you go up to uh, Billy Dixon as as he's being looked on uh, with uh, trainers. Who also Darius Lockhart, Sonny Kiss was there as well. And Sonny Kiss took umbrage to uh, the way that you uh, kind of approached him, uh, them as as a, as a whole. So now you and her are going to have a match at Ashe Cosmos on the 19th. What is your history with uh, Sonny Kiss? Because it felt like there's a lot more there than just you approaching Billy Dixon and the crew after uh, that match is over. Yeah, I mean, well, let's let's firstly talk about the condition of Billy. When 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 Sonny challenged me, everyone surrounding Billy in the chair, trying to revive him from consciousness. His eyes were open, the lights were on, but nobody was home. I did that. That's why we should celebrate that, because I told you what I was going to do. All I've done over the past several years, four plus, five plus years, is tell you what I was going to do. And then I deliver on that action again and again. But because I'm not the person that you like, I'm not the person that you chose, you don't celebrate me the same way. That's not right. That's what the culture does. We're trying to pick and choose who we celebrate. Instead of celebrating the people who are going out there and creating the accolades, I am the first black man to become a two-time Super 8 winner. I'm the second ever Super 8 winner to begin with. The only man who's done it before me is, oh, I don't know, Christopher Daniels, the and fallen we, angel. Christopher we love Daniels. that. We absolutely okay, love so that. Why are we, we absolutely not love talking that. To, why are we not celebrating that? Because I'm not the person that's chosen. So Sonny wants to challenge me. Sonny wants to challenge me after that monumental victory. I have Billy looking like a deer in the headlights. Done. Consciousness. Soul. Left his body. And here's Sonny challenging me. My history with you, Sonny, is so, so deep. I've won world championships from you. Tier 1 Wrestling back in 2016. We go way back. And then 2019, Warriors of Wrestling winning the heavyweight championship from you in Brooklyn. Hmm. Sonny, we have a history, but you have not been on the right side of it. So I don't know why, but you know what it is? Maybe it's because you've gotten a few victories, man, like the Reese, Yaya at, at Ashe, uh, Cross BHM. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe Sonny's coming off of TV, feeling good. Everyone's celebrating Sonny. Sonny gets the round of applause. So then you step up to me when we should be celebrating this together. You should be in the back clapping for me. Just like how you were attending to Billy, you should have left that room, came over to me, and said, congratulations, Darius. I've known you so long. You're so talented. You know this. I love you. Thank you. I didn't get anything from Sonny but a challenge. That's disrespectful. I don't understand how no one else sees that. That's blatant disrespect. I couldn't even have my moment, my few days of celebration before Sonny's out here putting a challenge on there trying to wash away my victory so we can talk about Sonny. I don't understand when, it. When you went so against you've been her. There, and now you're back here, and now you want to challenge the one person that can put you down there. This is a big mistake, Sonny. Big mistake. And I have a main event to win because Darius Lockhart stole my main event victory at BHM, at Ashe X BHM. Ashe 2. Well, Darius Lockhart. He took that from me. Darius Lockhart. No, no, no. Hold on. Because I was looking forward to coming back and facing somebody different. And then Sonny wants to challenge me. And my the, my the height of my momentum. How would you feel? Well, I was just going to uh, say that Darius Lockhart did beat you fair and square, oh, um, you know, at Ashe BHM. But now that Sunny Kiss is not there, you mentioned the history. You you beat her uh, for a title at Tier 1. You beat her for a title at Warriors of Wrestling in 2019. Uh, now this, uh, this feud has now come down to North Carolina. Um, what – how do you have to uh, – of course, Sunny has, has gotten some extra, I guess uh, – training since then she has some folks on her side like dustin rhodes and a few others who have helped her you know get higher in her game are you all at all worried that you're going to be going to get in the ring against a new sunny kiss that you didn't go against in 2016 and 2019 i have nothing but respect for the talent of sunny kiss and before i further address that let me remind you because that was a wild statement that you just threw out there saying that darius lockhart beat me fair and square that's Absolutely tremendous that 
you could even say that and think you could just continue on. Neckbreaker, one, two, three. But what happened before that? Oh, oh, Mr. Milligan shoved me from the other side of the barricade. But the referee didn't see that. Hmm. A non-wrestler impacted your win over... He, he laid his hands on me. That's a disqualification. Let, let's, wow. let's talk, you, let's talk about Sonny Kiss. What's going on here? No, no, no. I just, you mean I'm it just, also script that Darius gave you? What you? What's going on here? I have no script. Actually, Darius doesn't know that I'm doing this interview right now. So, oh, okay. Uh, I'm, okay. I'm, you're gonna I'm get in trouble because you're mind. talking to me instead of him. No. Or instead of talk, you're talking to me instead of Sonny or instead of Billy Dixon. No. You're gonna get in trouble. No. Huh. No. Huh. I'm asking you though. I'm coming to the source instead right. of instead of making accusations, as you said. I'm coming to the source and I'm asking you. So okay. this is your opportunity to say. And I ask you the question: Are you worried that this is a new Sonny kiss because of the 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 mentorship that she has for some very high level wrestlers who have. A, achieved a lot in pro wrestling are you worried at all now that we have this match that you're going against a new sunny kiss worry, uh, when we have uh, ashe cosmos worry fear that all exists in w w when there's when there's a lack of education fear exists where there's a lack of knowledge i know sunny i've watched sunny it's not like i stopped watching sunny it's not like i put Sonny in a, in a previous category. I don't put Sonny in a 2019, 2020 category. I see Sonny Kiss in 2024. I just told you that I was watching Sonny Kiss's victories and the, and what she's been doing lately. Sonny has been on an absolute roll, absolute roll. But again, you have to turn around and ask Sonny, hey, Sonny, are you worried that you've lost to Darius Carter before, that you faced this man and been beaten by this man before? Are you worried that he's even better now than he was then? That's what you need to be asking, Sonny. I know the type of talent that Sonny is. We all seem to know the type of level of talent that exists in Sonny Kiss. But it's time, and I'm tired of having that conversation, that I get that recognition. I should already be past this. Two-time Super 8 winner. Main event winner of GCW for the Culture 5. Proving myself should not be a thing anymore. At this point, it's about establishing, reaffirming, declaration of dominance. So in that right, I'm happy that it's Sonny. I'm happy that it's someone of Sonny Kiss's talent, talent, someone of Sonny Kiss's caliber. But when I put Sonny Kiss down too, I don't want to hear any more excuses. I don't want to hear all the ballyhoo. Say it, Darius Carter beat Sonny Kiss. Just like it needs to be said, duh. That Darius Carter beat Billy Dixon clean. No weapons. No cheap shots. Clean. Made the man pass out and pinned him at the same time. Darius raised my hand. So when I beat Sonny in the main nice. event of Ashe 3, what are we going to hear? What are we going to hear? Win. Because if at you this win, point, you win. I am the new leader of the culture. I am moving us forward. We are going in a different direction. Darius Lockhart, will he even be wrestling on the next show? We don't know. Probably not. So he can sit back. Billy Dixon can sit back because I've got this now. It's in my hands. Chris, I have this now. You understand? Sonny Kiss. It's a shame that it had to come down to this, but you have a part to play, and I have to do what I have to do. The culture is watching, and I cannot allow you to stop me. I can't. Darius Carter versus Sonny Kiss, April 19th. Go to AsheWrestling.com to get your tickets. Uh, we will be there. It's going to be an exciting event. Uh, Darius, you are 1-1 one one in Ashe. Will you become 2-1 and one, or will you become 1-2? and two? We'll see after April 19th. Thank you so much. For joining us today. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, great. April 19th at Cabarrus Arena and Event Center, Ashe Wrestling returns with Ashe Cosmos in collaboration with Charlotte artist Marcus Kaiser, a one night live event where interactive art, Afrofuturism, and pro wrestling meet in one. Musical performance by QT and the Soul Providers. Live pro wrestling matches featuring Sunny Kids, AEW's Kiera Hogan, New Japan Pro Wrestling's Kevin Knight, Darius Carter, and more. April 19th, Ashe presents Cosmos, starting at $20 general admission, $5 for children. Tickets on sale now at AsheWrestling.com.